faces, one smiling, the other one crying. This governor B found out for herself. She had her own share of laughter, but she also shed a lot of tears. A woman of many transitions. That is how ATV is described in show business. From a teeny bopper star, she was launched as a sexy and mature actress in the movie Boyless Queen. ATV's performance as Boyless Queen was remarkable. Limang beses in schedule yon, limang beses na pakap. Kasi si Celso at Castillo ang gusto niya yung first scene ko na sa sayo ng burles. Ang audience ko yun talagang nanonood ng burles. Iintay lang matapos yung show. After the show, ako lalabas. So live talaga. Live. Naka naka set up apat na five. Ganon is taken four to five cameras. One full shot, side shot, audience. Lahat naka set up. So first day. Gabi, di na doon ako, naka-costume na ako. Sabi ko, Diyos ko, wala ka ba yung tatawag ko? Kaya nandinig ko yung mga tao. Diyos ko, direct. Sabi ni direct, kaya mo yan. Direct, hindi. Paka, ayoko po. Paka, second night, at doon na rin ako. Paka, third night, paka, fourth night, piko na yung producer. On the fifth night, yun na, wala, parang wala na ako, wala na, cornered na. Biglang, sabi ni Direk Celso, inom ka muna ng alak. <laughs> Sinabi, so nag-inom ka muna ng alak? Oo, nag-inom ko alak. Bago, kaya mo yan. Kung sinasight ko yung sarili ko, kaya ko to, kaya ko to. Pinapainom ako alak siguro para mag-rogue-grog. <laughs> Haba, ito na. Pag ano, <laughs> ito na, tapos na yung live show. It's your third beat. Say when. Okay, Say when. And then roll ang camera lahat. Oh my God. That's it. Game, game, game. Game. Didi ko na yung camera. Paglabas ko talaga. Hala. Hala. Wala na akong nakikita ang tao. Hala. Sige. Bahala ka na. So bumigay ka na. Oo. Talagang, I think I did it for what? Seven minutes there. Alam mo si Bilma po niya. Talagang devoted siya sa pelikula. Uh, ang shooting niya, let us say, 9 o'clock in the morning. Before that, nandiyan niya sa akin. Yung disiplina niya, napakaganda. Kanya, yung mga directors na humawag sa kanya, talagang pinupuro siya. There was also a phase in ATV's career when she was hailed as the fantasy queen. ATV portrayed Darna no less than four times with three different child actors playing the role of Ding, Darna's sidekick. She did Lipad, Darna Lipad, Darna and the Giants, Darna and the Planet Women, and Darna at Ding. What was our experience like? Wala, basta ang alam ko, basta ang pagkasabi nila, lahat ng artista, lalo na yung nag-umpisa, walang dinidream yan kundi maka-play maka, maka ng role ng Darna and Jezebel. That's true. And I was lucky enough na both uh, itong mga comics characters na to, ng mga sikat sa Pinoy, ay nagampanan ko. With almost 200 films under her belt and the countless acting awards that she has received, ATV is truly a star for all seasons. She now holds the record for having the most acting awards ever by a Philippine actress from prestigious award-giving bodies, both local and international. Thank you so much uh, for this um, recognition. Unang-una, napakahusay niya ATV. Bias talaga ako magsasalita. Very professional siya. Uh, kasi ako talaga kay Situ, itong nag-aaral ako, naging inspirasyon ko siya. Tapos, sinabi ko talaga sa sarili ko na kapag nakapag-aral ako sa UP, gagawa ko ng book, ng thesis, or kung ano man na pwede kong sabihin na ginawa ko para kay Governor V. Okay, ATV nga na tinatawag natin sa showbiz na ATV. Okay. Pagka Sabado, pupunta ako sa bahay nila. Nasiyete pa lang, nandun ako. 
Noong 16 years old siya yun. Nando na ako ng 7 o'clock. Hanggang sa siya eh, aalis ng bahay, magpunta siya sa shooting, sa taping. Sa long list ng mga movies na ginawa mo, what would you say personally yung top five first performances mo? Siyempre, ang pinaka-memorable yung first first Grand Slam and that was Relasyon. Ano ba ako dito? Statwa? Dadaan-daanan mo nila ako sa harap para parang wala kang nakikita? Uh, Sister Stella is very, very yes. memorable. Uh, hindi, bata-bata paano ka ginawa. I watched that. That is also yung big thing. Uh, hindi naman pag sinabing liberated, parang ang sama mo na eh. But ito yung society eh. How can you fight society? Diba? It doesn't mean may dalawa kang anak magkaibang ama, sama mo na. Inyo ng bata-bata, diba? Iyon ako eh. <laughs> Dean, si Rafi. Rafi si Dean. Sila ang tatay. Ah! If there's one talent that Ate V is passionate about, that is dancing. And I must admit, I am a true fan. Who would forget her dancing moves in her own top-rating musical variety TV shows? The Sensations, VIP, and the long-running, multi-awarded, Vilma. I really don't know how to sing. Pareho tayo. <laughs> Pinipili nila. Labanan ko daw si Nora Honor. Sabi ko, ano yung lalaban ko? Hindi nga kumakanta. Eh, kaya may record din ako, di ba? Oy, gold record yung 16, ha? <laughs> but anyway, talagang dancing is my forte. Talagang up to now, I still dance. Until now. And that's part of my exercise. It? I do very much. Atevi's life in show business was not all about fame, acting trophies, and box office awards. There also came a point where she lost everything. What happened was... Uh, nagtayo ako ng production ko, yung VS Films. And I think I produced mga uh, five movies. Since bago kami, na-mismanage, uh, naloloko na kami ng tao, hindi namin alam. So yung mga dapat pala namin, mga pelikula na akala namin nasa opisina para ibigay sa ibang probinsya at kikita pa kami, bato na pala ang laman. Bago ko nalaman, lubog na pala ako sa utang at kukunin na lahat yung aking mga bahay. So, wala akong maiiwan. You have nothing at TV? Uh, wala. Pati yung tinitirang kong bahay, may utang pa noon. So, madalit silita that time. I think that was... I was pregnant pa with Lucky. Eh, malay ko sa... So, supportahan pa ako ng tao nung pagkatapos ko mga anak. You know? So, paano mo nalampasan lahat yan? I was pregnant with Lucky and I said, sana tanggapin pa ako ng tao after giving birth. So, I prayed to God and I said, Lord, sabi ko, give me another chance. I'm willing to... to work saradong mata. Kahit na mabayaran ko na lahat ng utang na ito, sabi ko, Lord, please. And then I gave birth to Lucky. So, akala ko hindi na ako tatanggapin ng tao dahil may anak na ako. No, God is good. <laughs> Binalik niya triplet. That was the time nag-box office ako. Ay, ako. <laughs> ah, best actress. Lahat, kumbaga, times five. Ganun ko ba, it's, it's just a matter of, ano, accept it and face it. Because wala ka ng choice. But, uh, may, uh, uh, ganyan yan eh. May choice ka either to go this way or to go this way. But if you know, at, at okay yung utak mo na, I really want to do good, I can do this, then maybe I thank God also nandun ako sa right path. You know, I was able to recover. As they say, you can never put a good person down. After surviving the ordeal, Ate V rose again and there was no stopping her after that. Her career zoomed to the highest peaks. If you look at your showbiz career, what would you say is the biggest contribution for you personally in the industry? I guess I've given more than half of my life in this industry uh, since I was nine. Uh, an industry I've learned to love and respect. And, uh, uh, isang industriya na malaki ang utang na loob ko. You know, so, I don't know, baka kahit paano, meron namang, kahit pa paano, star for all seasons. Yes. You know, kahit and paano. And the industry won't be the same without so, Milma Santos, di ba? Nakakay, <laughs> di ba? She loved and lost and loved again. And emerged a winner, not just in love, but in life.
Hers has been a very colorful, checkered life. Men have come, some have gone, and some have stayed. All have decorated and given meaning and joy to her life. As a child star, I mean, after naging child star ka, naging teen star ka naman, where you got a love team, right. and dito nagsimula ang rivalry nyo with Ate Guy. Yeah. What was that experience like? At first, uh, hindi ko ka-love team si Bobot. <laughs> ang talagang triangle, si Nora, si Pip, at si Bobot. Ang ka-love team ko noon, the late Jay Ilagan. Ah, talaga? Kasi kami magkasama sa radyo. Hindi ko kilala, hindi, hindi siya hindi kilala, hindi ko kagrupo sila, Nora. Um, kaya lang, mas nagugustuhan ng tao si Guy and Pip. So, naiiwan si Bobot. Ang ginawa ng manager ni Bobot, hinanapan siya ng love team. Aba, ako ang kinuha. Ay ayoko. Ayaw mo kay Bobot. Kasi gusto ko si Jay. <laughs> si Jay Ilagan. <laughs> Pero sabi, hindi. When I met Bobot, pinagdikit-dikit kami piktop-piktorial. Eh, nag-hit kami ang dalawa. It was 1970 the love team of V and Bot became a huge hit after its launch in the movie Young Love together with another hit love team Guy and Pip V and Bot went on to do 14 more films together the young idols Love is for the two of us Edgar loves Vilma and I love you honey to name just a few all were box office hits but the on-screen lovers soon became real-life lovers. Was it because the fact that palagi mo siyang kasama? Oh, no man, because of the siya, love team mo. Para na-develop lang. Oh, tsaka yung lagi kayong magkasama. At tsaka ang feeling mo, boyfriend mo siya. Eh, talaga naging boyfriend ko siya. <laughs> Pero yung... <laughs> Ate V had another on-screen romance. Both of them would agree that they had an enchanting film chemistry together. Dali. Ano ba kailangan mo? Di ba sinabi ko sa'yo, ayaw na kita makita? Ng pagkain. Kami naman ni Boyet, it's, it's, we, we ended up, ano eh, more on platonic kind of love. A professional uh, relationship. Yeah, but we still care for each other up to now. Uh, uh, I still care for him, sa family niya, and vice versa. Ganun din siya. I'm very proud of, uh, of Vilma now, especially uh, now she's one of the top actors, actresses in the country. The governor, our governor, my governor, um, and uh, she's uh, she's just making a difference. It was in the movie Romanza in 1980 where Ati V and Edu Mansano became close. Edu was a successful model who just came back from the U.S. and was trying out his luck on the silver screen. The on-screen affair continued fast off-screen. That same year, Ate V married Edu in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Doon medyo napasok yung naging problema ko sa buhay dahil the time before we got married, nagsabi ako sa kanya na maglalelo na ako sa karir ko and I will concentrate as Mrs. Mansano. You told him that? So, in, in, ano niya yun, inasahan niya. But that time also, remember, I made mention kanina when I learned about all my financial pro problems, I was pregnant with Lucky. Doon ko nalaman lahat ang problema. So, that time when we got married, paano ko naman malalaman ang dami ko palang utang? So, which means, hindi ako makakahinto magtrabaho. So, kailangan mo talaga magtrabaho. But that time, sabi niya, tutulungan kita. Pero hindi pa siya ganun kasi kat that time. Every Sunday, may family day kami with, with his uh, parents. Pati yun, ibinigay ko sa VIP that time. Doon na siya. Para bang, wala ka na. Family is not equal. So, eh, madali salita, Edo, Edo is old school. Unfortunately, this happened also sa buhay ko. So, yun ang naging conflict namin dalawa. And uh, naging start ng hindi namin pagkakaunawa, na hindi namin gusto pareho yung sitwasyon. A year after their marriage, Luis Mansano was born. But the marriage did not last. They divorced in 1985. Ate V has two other men in her life, and she loves them dearly. They are Luis and Ryan Christian. Who wouldn't know Lucky in Ativi's life? Uh, What's your relationship like with Si Lucky ang isang anak na sa experience ako, very, kasi usually uh, ang lalaking anak, 
hindi ganun ka-open sa mother, di ba? But with us, we can talk anything and everything under the sun. Now also in showbiz, Luis describes his special bond with his mom. You know, my mom is one of the simplest people um, on the face of this earth. Napakadali niyang patawanin, pasiyahin, dalhan mo lang ng pagkain niyan. You know, my mom nakaupo lang yan sa lazy chair niya, na may chichiria, may bubble wrap, na while watching TV. And it's very important to her na kumakain kami magkakasama. So despite what people see, yung glitz and glamour ng showbiz pa siya, or yung respect na binibigay sa kanya as a public servant, um, isa siya sa mga pinakasimpleng tao na pwede mong makilala, o nasa bahay lang. After her failed marriage with Edu, ATV was again hit by Cupid's Love Arrow. Well, we met in a disco, and then uh, I introduced myself. I went up to her, I introduced myself, and asked her to dance. Basically, that's how it started. I have to share this cuento with him because si Aga made me cuento. Um, he was there now on the first day. Yes! Ralph actually approached and met... Kinko! <laughs> Kinko! Yeah, oh, this is from his standpoint. He yeah, uh, okay. said to me, they were in King Kong Disco, which is owned by Direk Marilu Diaz Abaya. Yes. And Gabby Concepcion was there. Yes. And they were dancing down with you. Right. Enjoying Vilma Santos, right? He was a star for all seasons na at that time. And here comes... Ralph Recto asking you to dance. Yes. Sila dalawa daw ni Gabby, nagtinginan na parang, sino to? Totoo. Parang kapo naman ang mukha nito. At parang, di ba? Parang he had enough guts and courage to come up and ask you to dance. That's true. Totoo and that yun. started everything yes. for you. Uh -oh. Tell us about that, babe. Kasi kasama ko si Aga at si Gabby sa Vilma. Oh. Oh. At pumaparma sila sa'yo. Ay, alam mo naman yung mga yan. <laughs> Alam mo naman yan, pagpumuha ko sa kanila, feeling nila, eh di mo mo uuhan. Lahat naman na maganda niya, niligawan yung mga yun eh, ba? So we were there making kwento-kwento, kami nila, hindi na marino, kwento-kwento. Si, si Cherito Soli, si Tita Chato, ang tawa ko kasi, 4 o'clock na ng umaga. Tapos nakita niya doon pa yung grupo. Sabi niya, ganyan, V. Ganyan, hinihintay ka pa rin yata, isayaw mo na. Unang-unang tanong niya sa akin, Are you interested in politics? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know my father? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Assemblyman Rafi Recto? No. Eh, wala naman talaga ako. Alam si Buditi ka na dahil. Showbiz na nga utak ko nun. Malimalay ko dyan. Are you coming back here next Saturday? Yes, I will. I'll see you next Saturday. Okay. <laughs> On December 11, 1992, Ralph Rechtel married Vilma Santos in a grand wedding at the Lipa Cathedral. Una -una, maganda siya. And then uh, you get to know each other better. And uh, alam ko na napakamit ni B. And um, I wouldn't imagine myself with any other woman. Now let's talk about the other man in ATV's life, Ryan Christian. In 1992, four years after getting married to Ralph, ATV gave birth to a healthy baby boy. Now a grade school student, Atevi reveals she feels Ryan Christian is starting to show signs of being a politician. Does he tell you what he wants to become in his life? At this, you know, at, at the, sa ngayon, every time you ask him, Ryan, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be like Papa, a senator, and I want to be like, I want to be an actor like Mom. Oh, oh sabi ko, my God, anak, one only, why you, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Number one, she's kind. She's smart. Sometimes when I'm doing my homework, I ask her to help me because I can't understand this. She helps me naman. She has time for me also. ATV is more than thankful that three men remain faithful to her. All have given the solemn promise to support her all the way. There are a lot of people uh, who's been asking, saan ko? my age, sa ko kinukwala ng energy at adrenaline ako. I need to work every day, like the showbiz. May asawa ka, may anak ka. You know, when you're comfortable and you're happy with your family, sila nagbibigay ng adrenaline sa akin eh. Every time they tell me na, you know, mom, we're proud of you every time they see me on TV or a speech. And I'm lucky to have this family. 